Yo, hey guys, what's poppin'? Jock Slade here, back with another unboxing, and today I've got something that I'm just gonna say is special, but I don't know if it's special yet. Uh, this is something from the good folks over at Adidas. Uh, they had a big tag here that said Adidas, but it also said my address, and as I learned from my previous Adidas video, uh, people are really interested in my address, so I'm no longer going to include even the numbers on the stuff that I do because people go crazy and they post it in the comments, but that's another thing entirely. Anyway, so yes, package showed up over the weekend uh, from Adidas. Uh, I'm not sure what's in here. It's not crazy heavy, but it does have a little bit of weight to it. So um, I'm imagining it's probably some shoes as most of you guessed, which is probably why you're here on this channel. So let's stop wasting any more time and let's take a look inside and see what we have back to the box cutter again, which is, uh, I'm really uh, worried about you guys because a lot of you are complaining that I'm using a box cutter to open up a box. Apparently a box cutter isn't cool enough to open up a box and I need some sort of crazy, insane knife to open up a box, which I don't, I don't get. Why not just use a box cutter? What's the problem with using a box cutter? It's a razor, it does its job. Did you see how smooth that was? Look at that. Bam, box cutter. Leave me alone in the comment section, guys. Leave me alone. All right, without further ado, let's take a look inside here. Oh, what's that? Uh, so again, this is from Adidas and uh, it just says crazy. I don't know what that logo is. I've never seen that. Oh, well, this will tell me right here. Debuting on the feet of one of the greatest to grace the hardwood, 1997 witness the Crazy 8 bring a fresh, unapologetic attitude to the court, blending the aesthetics of the streets with the revolutionary feet you wear of technology. The Crazy franchise pushed Adidas basketball into a new era of design. 20 years later, the Crazy 8 ADV ushers in the next chapter for the iconic series and breathes new life into one of the most storied franchises in Adidas history. 1997, the Crazy 8. So this is the Crazy 8 ADV, which just released this year. Oh, this bag is really nice. Let me, let's take this box, put this box away. Oh man, look at that. That is a very nice bag. So this is all about the Adidas Crazy 8. And if you don't know about the Adidas Crazy 8, hold on just a second. Speaking of Kobe Bryant, um, why are you saying Kobe Bryant? Because it's Kobe Bryant. Well, you know you're using air quotes wrong. Uh, this is the correct use of air quotes. Kobe Bryant. That is not how you use air quotes. Whatever. Can I just finish my video? Yeah, sure, sure, sure. When the commenters tell you that you're using air quotes wrong, don't get all on your feelings and go tweeting over on Twitter about how you're upset because the commenters are going crazy. Anyway, so as I was saying, Kobe Bryant first went into the NBA back in 1997. He was actually drafted directly out of high school, but when he came out of high school, he actually signed directly to Adidas. Now, I know most of you know him as a Nike athlete now, but he started out on the three stripes, the KB8, or which was, well, the Crazy 8, which was originally called the KB8, is what this shoe is actually designed after. And it was one of my favorite shoes in the entire Kobe line. When he was with Adidas, Kobe had, I believe, five, maybe six shoes with the brand. And while he was with the Three Stripes, my favorite of that pack was hands down the KB8. It was the first shoe, and maybe just because it was the first one, but even to this day, it's the one that I wear the most out of all of the Adidas Kobe shoes. The other ones were cool, and some of them were a little crazy, but the KB8 is definitely the one to go to. So let's get back to the unboxing. All right, so let's hop into the kicks now that you have that history lesson. This is a very nice bag. I feel like this is leather. It's a very nice leather bag. Maybe it's tumbled leather. And I believe this says, yeah, it says crazy in a bunch of different writings in a different fonts, I guess, are hand scripts, handwriting. Oh, this is really nice. Kind of like some raw leather for the straps. That's really nice. That's very nice. So what they're doing with the uh, Crazy 8 ADV is they're taking it to like a luxury sort of feel. So if you know the Crazy 8 generally was a, just a basketball shoe, but the ADV, they did it and primed it earlier this year. And now they're flipping it a little more. And looks like there's another note here. Welcome to a new era of crazy, which I said like for the luxury thing, uh, for Adidas Originals, all that. So let's take a look inside. Oh, there's actually two pair in here. Oh, this bag is so nice. Look at that. It's like, uh, what was that, satin? Satin liner in the bag? That's really nice. Let's start with, uh, there's a black pair 
and a uh, white pair. So again, this bag is really nice. It has a hard bottom. It's really nice. Very nice bag. Thank you, Adidas. Really appreciate that. Uh, so what do you guys want to do first? Black, white. Uh, let's go. Uh, let's go with the white. We'll do the black second. So starting off with the white comes in the satin bag, drawstring bag. Oh, look at that. Oh, you know, I saw these online. So I saw uh, Wex, if you guys follow Wex, he tweeted these out the other day. So this is the Crazy 8 ADV, and this is like a snake skin upper. This looks so sick. So it has the, the tooling, I wanna say the tooling of the Crazy 8, but it's a little different. The Crazy 8 tooling was really dramatic, and with this version, they've They've smoothed it out a little bit, and you can see more the feet you wear sort of technology shines more than the design on the upper does when it comes to, to the ADV. And you can see here, just really a, a less dramatic midsole line on this version, but the upper on these is really nice. So it's snakeskin or reptile, and you can see there's like a, what is this? There's a suede back here, and then the reptile print here, and there's, as you can see, there's three different prints. There's one here at the top that's a thicker, more like an alligator. This is more like a snake, and this is more like a iguana or a lizard or something like that. And then back here has more like the alligator. It's thicker. So that's really, that's really dope, actually, that they use the three different uh, uh, reptile textures, I guess you would call them. There's the big, thicker alligator again. And then this is more like a snake. And then this is more like maybe iguana, I don't know, lizard or something like that. But that looks really, really crazy. If you're into like the reptile prints, then this is definitely a good look for you. Uh, looks like they have a little bit of suede here on the tongue where you can see the Adidas, the tree foil logo. Then they have crazy on the inside. And this is the ADV 9717 is the exact name. I thought it was just called ADV. Non-marking outsole. And I guess you could probably technically still play basketball in these if you wanted to. Um, I'm not sure that I would actually play basketball in these just because I think they look so nice. Oh man, you know, it makes me wonder. I often think what would Kobe's line look like if he would have stayed with Adidas. This kind of shows an updated version of some of his retro product with Adidas, although they can't really say uh, that it's him. They just call him the greatest player. But this are uh, one of the greatest players, but these are really, Nice, I really like the textures on these. On these, The reptile material is a really nice touch. And then they did the, the, the stitching. You can see the stitching, how they kind of put it all together. It almost kind of looks like a Frankenstein sort of, of way they put it together. But the stitching is not like super obvious either. It's still in that same sort of tan colorway that you see our mauve, is mauve? No, I think mauve is purple. Uh, tan, could just say tan, off-white colorway that you see on the rest of the upper and it goes up around the tongue which is a very nice touch and just gives the shoe a really nice looking uh upper i really like these materials great job adidas original so this is now an adidas original shoe it used to be adidas basketball but obviously now that they've transformed it and, and given it a new life and given it a modern take that it's going to go to the orig adidas originals as a lifestyle shoe as opposed to a straight basketball shoe so let's check out the black pair now all right, so here we have the black pair. As you can see, it says crazy right there on the bag. These are really nice bags. And for this one, oh, it's the same. They use the same sort of, red, oh, but it flips. Oh, this is, so, okay, all right. So I really like the white pair, but this black pair, I think, is a little, a little better. So they have the same suede here at the heel, and then they have the reptile print. But I like the actual print on these, if that makes any sense. So this is still like the thicker, crocodile sort of scaly sort of feel then this goes more a uh, smoother like the snake and actually it goes all the way down to the the midfoot actually as well and it's intertwined in the midfoot design as well and then at the toe it's more of a lizard but the lizard print on here has almost like a rectangle sort of shape imprinted within the actual toe it gives it a i like i actually like this look better than the white and then the snake print here kind of like a boa constrictor with the circles and then the gray and then again it happens on the tongue these are really 
Nice. So the Fiji Wear technology was actually a really big deal back in the day. The Crazy 8 actually came out, like the shoes that they were doing, people really loved that era of Adidas basketball. And I'm glad to see them reviving it a little bit. They've been reviving the Crazy 8 just a little bit over the last couple of years. And you can see that they're translating that and making, giving it a more modern approach, which I think brands should be doing. Like Adidas does a really good job of updating their silhouettes. You've seen it with the EQT, uh, adding boost and doing the EQT ADV. All those models have been updated for 2017. And I think they look really, really nice, especially the EQT boost. That one is crazy. It's super comfortable. And then the prime knit version is out of this world. Again, they had a prime knit version of these that they dropped earlier in the year. And I believe those are 150. And I'm thinking these are gonna be 150 as well so so i would say that this is an up upscaled version of the crazy eight or a luxury version of the crazy eight with the new materials that they're putting on the adv it gives the shoe definitely a different look and then the way that they changed the midsole of the crazy eight and made it less um less bold and a little more slick i would say it's a little more it's a little more integrated into the design don't get me wrong it's still bold obviously because you have the big white lines that are coming up across the middle of the midsole but it's still a lot less bold than the actual crazy eight so i really like the way these look this black pair actually looks really really nice anyway so again let's take a quick look at what adidas was kind enough to send over this is the black pair of the crazy 8 adv then we have the white pair of the crazy 8 adv and looking at them both i can see the the white pair actually does have that same sort of rectangle look that they have on the black but the black is just so much more pronounced and you see it more maybe i don't know maybe it just reflects better off the black when it comes to the light i don't know for some reason i like the way it pops off the black a little more than it pops off the white like if you look at them together you see like the black just seems to pop more um where these colors kind of blend a little a little more and these there's a bit more contrast with the brown and it sticks out a little more this almost has like a little bit of turquoise and gray mixed in the black where these are just like tan and off white and brown and this adds a little more definition to it let's say definition uh, i think that's probably the better word in the nice bags these are really nice bags nice satin bags i'm going to assume um for those color one black and one white this handbag is nice this is a nice traveling bag like a day bag if you're going away just for a day this is a pretty cool bag to throw your stuff in really nice tumbled leather you can smell it yeah it smells good and then like the raw kind of leather on the straps that's very very nice very nice very nice color very nice job. Thank you, uh, Adidas. Uh, for those that are looking to grab these, I believe these are available right now over on the Adidas website. Uh, the prime knit version of these was 150. I'm not sure if these are gonna be 150 as well. They might mark these down to 140 because it's not prime knit. Either way, check down in the description because that'll have all of the information on these and how to buy them and all that good stuff. It's just basically a link that'll get you to where you need to be. Uh, with that being said, I just wanna say thank you guys for watching. As always, I appreciate you. I am Jacques Slade. This is the Crazy 8 ADV special media pack sent to me by Adidas Originals. Thank you guys over at Adidas Originals. With that being said, make sure you stay tuned because I have something really dope that came in that I didn't think I was going to be able to get this early, but I was able to get them early. So make sure you stay tuned for that unboxing coming up in the next couple of days. I am Jacques Slade and I'll see you guys soon. Peace.